Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video here. Today we are going to be making a cheesecake with an Oreo crust and brownie grits on top. And don't worry, I'll show you how to make the brownie. tablespoons. You can add in more if you need to, but we're starting off with three. Just see if it is enough for our graham crust. Not graham crust, our Oreo crust. Okay, our crust is nice and mixed, and now it's time to get our pan ready so we can put our crust in there. So first, you want to get a nice piece of foil, and then put it nice and flat on a flat surface and then put your pan about right in the center and then fold the foil up onto the pan and make sure you put it nice and tight and not necessarily covering this part but if you have to then go right ahead. To avoid any leakage so when it's in the oven and you have your batter in the pan it just stays. Now we're going to spray it with some non-stick spray. You don't want to move it too much because you don't want your cheesecake or your cheesecake crust to be too oily. So you're just going to spray it like that a few seconds and then we're going to add in our crust. Now I'm going to start just um, flattening out the crust into the spring form pan with a spoon. And I wanna make sure that it's nice and even. And right now it's looking a little like, kinda like a dough or something, kinda like too liquidy. And don't worry about that, cause we're gonna, after this, we're gonna put our crust into the fridge and, and we're gonna just leave it in there for no specific time but we're gonna leave it in there for so, until it's time to add in our batter into the pan and put it into the oven. Now we're gonna start making our cream cheese batter. So here in my bowl, I have some cream cheese, two bricks. Now I'm gonna add in a cup of sugar and then we're just gonna beat that in. Now we're gonna use a half mixture. So using a hand mixer, it's just a better way to mix it in um, other than hand mixing. Using a, a spoon. Adding our eggs one at a time. We need two eggs. So we're going to go ahead and add in our first egg here. All right. And get out any possible shells. Now you're going to go ahead and start mixing that up. Add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. refrigerated Oreo crust in the pan. That's good. Put a cheesecake in the oven in a 375 degree oven for 50 to 60 minutes. 
rally time. So first to start with um, getting our pan ready for rallies, you want to get like the paper part or anything you can use and just start but, um, lightly buttering the um, pan um, directly. That should be about good. And then you want to get a nice sheet of parchment paper and then put it on there about that. And then Make sure it's just sticking real good because you don't necessarily, it bothers me, um, but it's all out of the pan. So then you can add more butter um, if you want to to have it stick. And then add your second one and to make it nice and even. Now you're going to lightly butter the inside of the parchment paper. So in a small bowl with my mini spatula, we're going to combine half a cup or four ounces of dark chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate, but you can do any combination you would like. And now we're going to add in a third cup of cocoa powder. And finally, a half a tablespoon of espresso powder. So in this part, the espresso powder, um, we add it in because it brings out the nice chocolate flavors. So that's why we add it in to our brownie. All right, so now we have our nice and hot butter. I just melted it in the microwave. This is one and a fourth of a stick of butter. Now we're gonna put this in, pour this in, and we're gonna mix it around a little bit and then for now, we're just going to go ahead and let it sit for about two minutes. Now we're going to whisk this up until it's nice and smooth. All right, our cheesecake is all done at the 50 minute mark. Now I'm going to let it cool. So I have to take off the spoon from Pam too. Get it off. Oh, that looks so good. All right, now it's time to add and mix in our ingredients. White sugar, brown sugar, that's what I've added in. Now our three eggs, and then we're gonna add in our one um, kosher salt and a vanilla extract and we're just going to mix that in. Now I'm about to start beating in the ingredients. So I've already added in our chocolate mixture from earlier and now here it is. It looks really good. Our flour here. So we're going to go ahead and add this in. And we're going to fold it in with our rubber spatula into the batter. Now I'm going to put our brownie batter into the uh, baking pan. And once it's all in there, we're going to go ahead and smooth out the top. out of the oven and we're gonna put it back in but right now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift it up and then on a flat surface just like and like that a few times that should be good now we're gonna sprinkle some sea salt onto our brownies you don't need to put a lot Brownie back in the oven for another 20 minutes. And there you have it our brownies and our cheesecake. And if you would like, you can have plain cheesecake 
or you can have some of the brownies we made. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you try it. And you can watch this video and follow along while I make it. And you can go ahead and listen and watch all of the measurements if you want to make this yourself. Bye!